right now live at 5. Duluth and St. Louis County days come to a close in Minnesota's capital. We tell you what they talked about coming up. Plus, how a bill that could overhaul the U.S. Postal Service could impact us here in the Northland. And later... The U.S. warns Russia could use chemical or biological weapons in Ukraine. I'm Natalie Brand at the White House. What top U.S. intelligence officials are saying about President Putin's potential next move. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Briggs LaSavage. Amid the fight for millions in bonding money and billions from Minnesota's surplus, local leaders pleaded their case for a share of that money today at the Capitol. It's part of Duluth and St. Louis County days when lawmakers get to hear what projects are on the top of our region's priorities list this year. CBS 3's Quinn Gorham headed to St. Paul today to get an idea of what they're looking for. The Luth and St. Louis County Days came to a head on Thursday as hundreds of city and county leaders talked with state lawmakers about the region's priorities. City councilors, local lawmakers, business owners, and other local leaders all took part in the two-day event. Duluth Area Chamber of Commerce President Matt Baumgartner says the annual event has helped the state legislature better understand the needs of northern Minnesota for years. As the area recovers from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, Baumgartner says this year's event honed in on the bolstering of local jobs and child care. We need more workforce. So it makes that problem feel bigger to us. And in needing more workforce, we need better early child care and education to make sure that we have that labor force participation. So the pandemic absolutely expedited that need. Local leaders also pitched bonding projects to the state, such as better broadband and money for local educators hoping to take full advantage of a $9.25 billion state budget surplus. With the Luth and St. Louis County Days coming to an end, city leaders are optimistic that state lawmakers are walking away with an appreciation for northern Minnesota's priorities and we'll consider those throughout the remainder of the legislative session. Thanks, Quinn. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from Mayor Emily Larson about why she believes this year's event was more successful than years past. The Minnesota Senate unanimously passed a bill today funding ALS research in the state. Iron Range Senator David Tomasoni led the effort after being diagnosed with ALS last year. It's a neurological disorder that impacts the brain and spinal cord, robbing people of their ability to walk, speak, and eventually breathe. The bill funds $20 million for ALS research and $5 million for caregiving. There are six hospitals in Minnesota currently doing ALS research. The bill now heads to the State House for a vote. A bill that will overhaul the U.S. Postal Service has made it through Congress. The bill, which passed through the House and Senate with bipartisan support, would bring major financial reforms to the struggling service. It would remove a requirement that the Postal Service fund all employee retirement health care benefits in advance, a move that's estimated to save $50 billion over a decade. U.S. Senator Tina Smith from Minnesota says those financial hardships took center stage during the last presidential election. And there was all this talk about post office services being pulled back right at a time when Americans were needing the post office to deliver their ballots. That was caused in part by this, uh, by this financial challenge that was put on top of the post office through no fault of its own. So that's what we fixed in this bill. The bill will also require mail delivery service at least six days a week and require the Postal Service to create an online dashboard for users to track their deliveries. And now moves on to President Biden's desk, where he's expected to sign it into law. Another candidate is vying for a seat in Minnesota's House. Brianna Ellison is seeking the DFL endorsement for the newly drawn 8B seat. That includes East Duluth. Ellison graduated from UMD and has served on a number of Duluth boards and commissions. She was also featured in the Duluth News Tribune's 20 Under 40 Awards. Ellison says she is committed to the people of Duluth, but didn't share specific issues she would like to take on if elected. Yesterday, Duluth Councilor Eric Forsman also announced a run for that seat. The position is currently held by Rep. Jen Schultz, who announced she won't be seeking re-election. U.S. officials warn Russian forces are operating with a reckless disregards for civilians. 
That's amid concerns that Russia could launch a chemical weapons attack in Ukraine. The head of the CIA warns Russian President Vladimir Putin does not have a sustainable end game in Ukraine, even as his military sees significant losses. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. There's growing concern that Russia could possibly use chemical or biological weapons in Ukraine. Would President Biden let a chemical weapons attack in Ukraine go unanswered by the United States? We have not let anything go unanswered to date, any steps that President Putin has taken to date. What that would look like, I can't give you an assessment of that from here. There's also growing international outrage over suspected war crimes by Russia. A day after the attack on the maternity and children's hospital in Mariupol killed at least three, including a child. The director of national intelligence told lawmakers the U.S. is documenting Russia's actions. The Russian military has begun to loosen its rules of engagement to achieve their military objectives. A U.S. official also says Russian forces could still encircle the capital of Kyiv in the next couple of weeks if they're willing to grind through significant Ukrainian resistance. It's estimated up to 6,000 Russian forces have already been killed in action. President Putin does not have a sustainable end game in Ukraine right now. The White House says the president is ready to sign a massive assistance package for Ukraine as soon as it arrives to his desk. The House passed bill includes $13.6 billion in humanitarian, defense and economic aid. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he hopes the Senate will take up the measure as soon as tonight. The United States and the people around the world uh, are going to continue to support the Ukrainian people, I believe, as they defend their country. More than two million people have now fled Ukraine, many women and children. Vice President Harris and her predecessor, former Vice President Mike Pence, both in Poland today, met with some of the refugees there. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, The White House. U.S. businesses continue to pull out of Russia as a consequence of its invasion of Ukraine. Today, 3M is joining that growing list. The Minnesota-based company has a corporate office in Moscow and two production plants in the country. 3M's announcement comes as companies across a variety of industries have suspended some or all of their Russian operations. Medina-based vehicle maker Polaris is also among the Minnesota companies that have halted sales or exports to Russia. Dave joins us for a look at the weather. Dave, these colder temperatures have really been a shock to the system. <laughs> yeah, we did drop towards 15, 20 below for some parts of the Arrowhead in Minnesota and even into the teens below zero for some parts of Wisconsin. Yeah. I'll show the morning low temperatures in just a little bit, but right now I want to take a live look towards Cass Lake, one of our western sky cameras here, to take a look at the sky and you'll see it's getting a bit gray in that neck of the woods. That's because a small Alberta clipper's coming our way, which could bring us a chance for Another little dusting of light snow tonight. Flurry chance tonight, about 30%. Coming in with that clipper from the west, it may not add up to much. No, I think we're going to get less than an inch. About three-tenths to eight-tenths is what the latest charts are indicating. So into the short-term forecast, we see that this chance for the flurries is only 30%. Could begin around midnight tonight and go for about 12 hours, lasting until around noon on Friday. Again, the flurries won't add up to much. Temperatures won't add up to much still either. 13 is way below the normal of 34 or so. We may get back to normal come Sunday. In between, there's another chance for some flurry activity come Saturday night. Will that one be more potent than this one? Well, I'll show you the latest estimates on that in just a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, several counties in Wisconsin will see aerial pest treatment this spring. Find out who in our area will be affected coming up in City by City. to Hannah Johnson Fabrics and Sewing Studio in Lakeside Marketplace. Don't know where to start? Visit our new sewing classroom and studio. Whether you're a brand new sewist or you've sewn for years, we have a class for you at Hannah Johnson Fabrics. We'll help you get your projects going with our huge selection of high quality designer and specialty fabrics. Our friendly staff will help you find exactly what you need. Come see us in person or register for classes online at hannahjohnsonfabrics.com. 
Hey, did you see that new big one up on my wall? Yeah, the craftsmanship, the color, everything was spot on. But I bet it was a struggle and took a while. Actually, it was really easy and totally worth the wait. Perfection takes time, you know. They're custom made and you'd be really in the savings for years. My wife, she likes it so much that she wants more in the kitchen and the dining room. So that's why you go to Heritage. Yeah, if you're going for trophies, they've got them all. It's the only place in the Northland where you can get renewal by Anderson. Guys, aren't we talking about fish? No, oh, windows, windows and doors. doors. A weekend sledding event bringing the whole community together. Fewer boundary water permits are available this year. We're checking in with mushers to see how things are going on day two of the Bear Grylls Sled Dog Marathon. What one ESCO family is thankful for. The latest details on a massive fire that has shut down an entire Duluth. What the idling of Cleveland Cliffs mines and so To Bay. stay up to date with the news and weather that impacts you and your community, tune to live local CBS3. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News, live at 5. Here's a live look from the lift bridge tonight. It might be cold today, but that bright sunshine and warmer temps ahead are certainly giving the hope of spring, which, hey, by the way, is only 10 days away. Dave will be in with this week's full forecast in just a few minutes, but first, let's take a look around the region. A sign winter is coming to an end in Chisholm and a public meeting for an ongoing construction project in Duluth. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. We start things off in Wisconsin tonight, where a few Northland counties will see some invasive species treatments this spring. The Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection will be treating spongy moths, formerly known as gypsy moths, beginning in May. Aerial treatments will continue through July, with communities being notified as it gets closer. No exact dates are set, as treatment is dependent on weather conditions. In our area, Bayfield, Sawyer, and Washburn counties are part of the 2022 Slow the Spread program. Next, we head to Chisholm, where a popular winter sport is calling it a season. The Parks and Rec Department's outdoor skating rink has closed for the season, effective yesterday. They cited warmer temperatures as the reason for closing. In nearby Hibbing, the city closed their skating loop about two weeks ago, but say the Greenhaven rink will remain open as long as weather and ice conditions allow. And we wrap up in Duluth tonight with updates on a local road construction project. A public meeting will be held this upcoming Tuesday, March 15th at the Gary New Duluth Rec Center to discuss the Mission Creek Bridge and Highway 23 realignment project. Construction in the Mission Creek area began in 2017 to create a larger waterway underneath the bridge. However, during the summer of that year, it was discovered that work had disturbed a Native American burial site and that part of the project has been on hold ever since. We will have more information on these projects and all of today's stories on our website. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, go ahead, send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, baseball is back and opening day is now less than a month away. CBS 3's Kevin Moore breaks down today's deal coming up. Normal high temperature is 34 degrees today. We got halfway there with 17. We will stay under the radar here, under the normal temperature, probably through Saturday. Come Sunday, though, we might get close. And that could start a warm-up that will last the rest of the week ahead. We'll talk about that in a couple of flurry chances coming our way right after our break. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Save big money with 11% off everything at Menards. Give any room a fresh look with the beauty and durability of tile from Mohawk. Mohawk features over 350 ceramic, porcelain, mosaic, and glass tiles. All Mohawk tiles are 11% off. Complete your tiling job with professional quality installation products from Tech. Menards carries Tech mortar and grout to work with all floor and wall tile sizes. Get 11% off Tech products at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Roberto Fernandez. I'm an oncologist and hematologist at St. Luke's Regional Cancer Center in Duluth. Developing a relationship with a patient and their families is incredibly important with the diagnosis of cancer. They need to have adequate trust in the care providers that they are working with. From start to finish, it's a journey. You know, when a person is diagnosed with cancer, it's not something that they prepare for. And our job as their oncologist is to really be a facilitator of information, a good communicator, and help them navigate that journey. What does this have to do with law? Absolutely nothing. Follow me. I'll lead the way. There's always something new under the sun. Oh, you just put me in a good mood. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. CBS3 Weather is brought to you by Heritage Window and Door. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, it got chilly this morning. We were expecting it, although a couple of towns did go below the estimates. One of them, two of them, Hibbing and Chisholm, the airport in between the two towns, 23 degrees below zero. 18 below for International Falls and pretty close to 10 below for Duluth International, Moose Lake and Ashland. Almost 15 below in Hayward this morning, 11 degrees below zero in Watersmeet. Clouds, they'll be thickening up tonight for a chance for a little bit of uh, snow shower activity. And that'll keep temperatures from getting as cold, although... We're probably going to go again towards five below up around International Falls. Warm up, that could be with us on Sunday, and that could culminate in temperatures near 40 later next week. But right now, it stays cooler through at least the first half of the weekend. At this moment, it is 17 above at Duluth International with the clouds indeed trying to increase. Westerly, southwesterly winds running 16 miles per hour and the relative humidity 52%. Onto the national picture here. Higher air pressure in control today. Beautiful blue sun for much of the day. Blue sun blue sky there. Uh, that sounds like a dolly painting there if it was a, a blue sun. Anyway, trough of lower pressure coming in tonight is going to bring us a chance for flurries. So the sunshine of the high is going away. 30% chance for a little bit of precip coming our way then overnight. Are we seeing any right now? Well, the clouds are still slowly advancing upon the area. Indeed filling in, but haven't completed the process yet. So I think the flurries probably will start around the midnight hour and then last perhaps until the noon hour tomorrow. And after all that is said and done, snow totals might go from, oh, I'm thinking about a third of an inch in Silver Bay to maybe eight-tenths of an inch in International Falls. So this is not a big system. But there's another system coming our way. When this first clipper goes away, a little bit of higher pressure will bring back at least a touch of sun by Friday afternoon and maybe in through Saturday morning as well. But by Saturday night, there's another clipper coming across near the Canadian border that will bring a second round of this light snow activity, perhaps Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then warmer air will come in with this low rather than cooler air. And come Sunday, we go back towards normal, around 34 degrees. And like I mentioned, later next week, we could be cracking 40 it's about time, according to some people, though I know there's a few outdoor fans that want to hold on to the snow as long as possible. Well, we'll see how it goes. And we'll start that process then with our seven-day forecast. Tonight in Minnesota, low temps, five below inland, nine above by the lake. 30% chance for the flurries after midnight. Same deal for Wisconsin-Michigan, 30% flurry chance, low temps around five to seven above there. For tomorrow, daytime highs, 14 to 18, so still shy of that normal of 34 for Wisconsin and the UP. Morning flurries and then partial clearing in the afternoon. And a similar process will affect the sky in Minnesota as well. Morning flurries, partial clearing in the afternoon, high temps 10 to 15. Okay, come Saturday, there we go, night flurries with a high of 17. But we go back to 10 below come Saturday morning. Then we get cracking on Sunday, 33 degrees, 37 on Tuesday, 40 come Wednesday and Thursday with just a 30% chance for a rain-snow mix. All right, thanks, Dave.
It may have been Hermantown on fire during last night's blowout win over New Prague at the state boys hockey tournament, but today it's the Trojans fans who are taking some heat. Some New Prague students are accused of using a racist hand gesture during the game. A photo shows a student behind the coach's bench making a white power symbol. New Prague school district leaders responded to the outrage on social media today. They claim the students were copying something they saw at an earlier hockey game and had no idea it could be taken as a racist gesture. This morning, the Minnesota State High School League also responded. In a statement, they said their organization condemns all actions intended to cause racial harm in any way. And New Prague school leaders took the right action. This is just the latest accusation of racism made against New Prague schools. At two separate sporting events last month, student athletes from visiting schools claim New Prague students and adults made racist comments towards them. Because of that, two Twin Cities area school districts have said their teams won't be competing against New Prague until further notice. Hermantown did win last night's game. They now go on to play Alexandria in the semifinal at 1 tomorrow afternoon where a win could put them in Saturday's championship, and best of luck to them. Absolutely. Well, sticking with sports, today was a long-awaited day for baseball fans, but a deal has been reached, and the season is on. Yeah, CBS 3's Kevin Moore joins us now to break down today's news. Kevin. Thanks, guys. After 99 days, Major League Baseball and the MLB Players Association reached an agreement on a new collective bargaining agreement today, saving the 162-game season for baseball. The deal comes after... Multiple meetings during the week when the league breaks significant ga gaps in issues the players had. The final vote by the MLBPA voted in favor 26 to 12. Some of the new agreed upon rules are the National League adopting the designated hitter, nine inning double headers, no man on second to start extra innings, and for next year, a pitch clock, larger bases, and a ban on the shift. So, Kristen and Briggs, spring training begins Sunday, free agency begins tonight. And opening day starts in less than a month on April 7th when the Twins play the Mariners and Brewers, and the, sorry, Mariners, and the Brewers play the Cubs. So baseball is officially back. Yeah, I think a lot of people are excited about that. Yes. Thanks, Kevin. Well, now it's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets. And today's pet comes to us from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hibbing. Yeah, this is Jammer. He is a one-year-old kitty looking for a loving home. Our friends at the shelter tell us he is everything you'd ever need in a cat. He loves to explore and play, but if it's time to wind down, he makes a great cuddle buddy, too. If you're looking for a Jammer cooler than Kool-Aid, this is your guy. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah, he is cute. It looks like a little Very gymnast, cute. too. He was up on yes. that uh, special little circle thing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you have a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I couldn't imagine my uh, big guy getting up on something like that. So that, to me, is very impressive. It would be entertaining to see Harry on one of those. Well, if you, if you would like to set up an appointment to adopt Jammer, you can call the number on your screen. <laughs> mm, there he is again. <laughs> Still to come, snow might soon turn to rain, and the DNR needs your help. Help tracking rainfall. How you can get involved next. For six days only, Home Furniture has put everything on sale. And you can finance for six years with no money down and no minimum purchase. Six days of savings. Six years special financing. The 646 sale. Only at Home Furniture. Find the home of your dreams with Homes by Edmonds. Whether you're buying or selling, trust Duluth's oldest real estate company, Homes by Edmonds, LLP. Sunday mornings at 1030 on CBS3. Hi, folks. Medicare Part C plans with extra benefits like getting money added back to your Social Security check may now be available to you in your zip code. Make sure you're not missing out. It's simple. One, call the number on your screen. Two, they'll look up your zip code and see if you're eligible. Three, they'll check for plans with extra benefits like prescriptions, dental coverage, and the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every single month. Call now. I called to get everything I deserve. I called to check my zip code for a plan with a benefit that adds money back to my Social Security check. I called to check my zip code. Millions of people have called the Medicare Coverage Helpline. Call, check your zip code, see if you're eligible, and get what you deserve. Call now. Call 1-800-476-5600. That's 1-800-476-5600 now. 
Minnesota Ballet closes its 21-22 season with a powerful assortment of contemporary dances at the Deep West Family Theater, Friday and Saturday, March 25th and 26th. Don't miss this inspiring evening of performances by Duluth's own Minnesota Ballet. Tickets available at minnesotaballet.org. Do you suffer from lower back pain while standing or walking? Northland Anesthesia Associates is here to provide you with surgical free pain relief. With a fellowship trained and board certified staff, we offer each patient a customized effective treatment plan. Our vast experience in pain management means we are able to treat a number of complex pain states through innovative anesthetic techniques, including lumbar epidural steroid injections, radiofrequency nerve ablations, and more. Our past patients rave about the care they've received, and we want to help you too. Call today for the relief you deserve. I'm Nicole Byer. And I'm Tate Diggs, and we're hosting the Critics' Choice Awards. Join us as we celebrate the best in film, television, and streaming, and I celebrate Timothy, Idris, and Adam. It may be an unpredictable night. Oh, it will be, Tate Diggs. The 27th Annual Critics' Choice Awards, live Sunday at 7, 6 Central on The CW. Follow me, I'll lead the way. There's always something new under the sun. Oh, you just put me in a good mood. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. For a limited time at Homeworld Rugs, when you buy one rug at sale price, you'll get another rug free with many different patterns, sizes, and shapes to choose from. And rug experts in every showroom to help. You'll find the perfect rug. Buy one rug, get one free. Now at Homeworld Rugs. As the north end gets warmer, that means snowfall will start changing over to rain. But before that happens, the DNR is asking for your help. The Minnesota DNR is looking for volunteers to monitor rainfall, especially in rural locations like Lake and Cook County. Meteorologists and climatologists rely on receiving rainfall reports from the public since radars aren't as accurate when measure measuring rainfall. But both those counties in particular are less populated and have fewer volunteers. So one state climatologist says it's very important to collect rainfall data, especially during severe weather events like this past drought. We had one of our worst droughts here in, uh, since 1988. Now, it wasn't as bad as 1988, but it was a bad drought. And I can't even tell you how invaluable that data was to help us monitor drought and report back to the National Drought Mitigation Center. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer, you'll need to complete an online training course and buy a 4-inch rain gauge. To find out where you can register, we have a link on our website. You voted and now Duluth is ready to share its Movies in the Park lineup. The Greater Downtown Council's event kicks off July 8th with the showing of Sing 2. Beethoven, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Men in Black and The Little Rascals also made the list. You can find the full schedule on our website. The movies will be shown on the big screen in Leif Erikson Park all through summer. Here's what we're working on tonight. Peace talks between Ukraine and Russia end in no breakthrough as more than 2 million people have fled war-torn Ukraine. Plus, it's not just gas prices putting the squeeze on American wallets. Why rent is up 50% in parts of the country. And Eye on America tonight will look at how police departments around the country are changing their response to mental health emergencies. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. Closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. If you're 45 years or older, talk to your provider about screening options. The best colorectal cancer screening is the one that gets done. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, they can't have just one deal. Choose between a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or hash browns. Get more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. It's time to spread game. The Harlem Globetrotters are coming with an all-new tour. Four quarters of big plays, ankle-breaking moves, and ball-handling wizardry. Do they dunk? Do they dunk? See the stars rattle the rim in the all-new in-game dunk contest. This is the team everyone can cheer for. The Spread Game Tour is coming. Don't miss the Globetrotters in Duluth on March 19th. Go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com. Be smart. Be active. Be confident. Vision Pro Optical is here for you. Specializing in eye exams, glasses, contacts, and billing your insurance. 
Serving the Northland for more than 30 years with you as our focus. Visit visionprooptical.com for hours and location details. Vision Pro Optical. Be and be seen. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, they can't have just one deal. Choose between a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or hash browns. Get more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Thursday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight we were at Duluth and St. Louis County Days down at the Minnesota State Capitol where this morning local leaders continued their, to plead their case for legislative priorities in our area. As we rebound from the pandemic, officials pushed for ideas that would increase jobs and child care in the region. Broadband and educational funding were also on the table. And tonight at 6, throughout the pandemic, students in the Twin Ports have been receiving two free meals a day. But now, that federal funding has nearly reached its end. We hear from both school districts, Duluth and Superior, on what they plan to do going forward and how many students may be affected. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6.